Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Um, my trip out yesterday was most enjoyable. Its primary goal was to get the big bucket and um, just take a walk and get some fresh air, clear the cobwebs. Quite honestly, it did me the world of good. Um, <laughs> legs ache a bit. Some of those ditches had pretty steep sides. <laughs> Still, clambering around, all it's all the exercise and all stuff and uh, thoroughly enjoyable. Could have done with some sunshine and a bit less wind, but still enjoyable. Anyway, there is an inherent problem with Big Bucket. <laughs> Can you see what it is yet? Yeah, well think how much water it flipping holds. Boy, is that going to gobble my uh, RO unit. So I'll have to plan for that. Obviously when I do my water change, <clears throat> I'll have to make sure that I allow for the Big Bucket to spend time with the RO unit rather than using the water out of the containers that I fill up. So that will be like a separate exercise. Um, that'll work okay, it's just a, a much larger volume of water. Oh, I won't be able to, I was gonna, just gonna pour that water in there, but I can't do that with one hand. One, it's heavy, and two, it'll probably go all over the place. Oh, there's, there's always a way, I suppose. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's going to be more on the floor than in the bucket. So I'll do that in a minute. But yeah, I mean, the inherent problem is that's probably double the volume of water, if not more. But there will be a bonus, because in some cases I'll be able to get two plants in there at once, instead of having to do them one at a time. So there, there will be a bonus. Um, I'm going to revisit this. This Vanda... Beautiful blooms though they are, if there's any chance of saving that plant, the blooms have got to come off, yeah, and I've got to deal with it. And um, I do have nubbins on the stem, they seem to be moving slowly, but I've just watched a video that um, has great possibilities for this plant. Um, so basically I'm going to chop it, the blooms are going to come off. Um, I'm going to cut that stem below that good root and uh, or maybe just a fraction lower because there's a good nubbin just below that and one opposite as well. So there are, there is the basis of a new root system but I've just seen a way that should speed that process up dramatically. Now I don't think the plant's ever going to look that good so I may make a decision down the line to just dump it. I don't want that tatty looking ugly object lying around despite its beautiful blooms. And in the base of there may be the future. It just may be that I'll start again. But it depends what I find in that stem when the old cutters come out. Obviously I'll take you along. <laughs> you love watching me struggle you lot, I know you do. Anyway, um, yeah, enjoy your day, enjoy your orchids. I'm just going to water all my mounts and um, I've got to go and check my records now to decide what sort of water I'm going to use. Um, I don't mean the basic water, the RO unit. I need to decide what's going in it and whether I need to do something after I've put that in there. Um, yeah, so I'm just rotating round, you know, not using the same feed levels and the same, you know, same pH and all that sort of stuff. A bit of variety. Variety is the spice of life and maybe that's the spice for the orchids that they really need. So um, anyway, yeah this, this thing's days are numbered if it really doesn't pick up and I don't know whether most of those leaves have just gone too far. I don't know enough about orchids to know whether those leaves can actually recover themselves or are they just too far gone. Um, it's never been a good looking plant. Anyway, it needs dealing with, so I'm going to get on and deal with it. No, no, no good just staring at it, wishing. Sometimes actions are required, and um, although this isn't outside at the moment, <laughs> um, I just watched a video of this at the start of the year. It's my own video, but what I was doing was um, Another thing that's become a bit of a chore is changing my ending because um, adding those um, extra videos to go and watch and that subscribe button to an ending is becoming a chore. 
Now, I know that might sound odd, but the way that YouTube works, I've got to publish my video first and then edit it to add those bits on. But I've got to make a decision what bits I'm going to go add on, uh, to add on. So I've got to go through all my older videos and try and find some that aren't too long or, you know, might spark an interest. And, you know, that, that's taking longer than posting the flipping video. So I might change that back again and just get rid of that bit and just have the subscribe button sort of appear towards the end. That's probably enough. But anyway, back to the point, waffling again. Um, <clears throat> the video I put on the link, on the, on the latest one that I've just loaded, goes back and shows this plant at the start of the season, when it had quite a few blooms on. And th therein lies the key. If you watch that video and see the size the plant was then, and look at the monster it's become, I think really, inherently, that, that really is this plant's problem. <coughs> it's a fast grower. It's outgrown its pot. So in my efforts to try and keep it hydrated and keep these new growths pushing on, it stayed wet possibly longer than it should. And in such a tiny pot, it's just not doing the plant any good. This plant needs room to breathe. It needs room to grow. And it hasn't got it in that tiny little basket. So um, that's another job that's now coming to the top of the list. It's coming out of that basket and it's going to get split. And it's going to get split in such a way that um, I get to keep a nice piece and somebody else gets to get a couple of pieces um, but what I will need to do before this plant gets passed on is hopefully get some strong new growths with good looking leaves on so that the plant looks smart again. Because I, I wouldn't try and pass a plant on to somebody else that, that's got marks like this on it. And I do believe, it's difficult to tell when you see your plants every day, this plant's green is getting darker yeah, so the changes I've made seem to be starting to have an effect. Now, the changes I've made are obviously that, um, you know, I've got some calcium into the flipping plant by lowering the pH. Although, if that media is breaking down and it was staying wet, after a feed at a higher pH, the pH would naturally lower in the pot. So maybe it wasn't as deficient of any elements as, as perhaps first thought. But I can reasonably safely say what it is short is everything. And it can't get everything in there for that rate of growth in a tiny little pot like that. Um, yeah, so another one to work on. I'll get at it. Well, there's the first bonus. <clears throat> Not only do those plants fit in there without bending any roots, but three at once. Just think of the time. You know, the old um, Bangkok sunset used to used to go in there and sit there for half an hour or three quarters of an hour. Well, until I remembered it was there. And then those two vanders just about squeezed in, but some roots were getting bent. And um, then they've got to stay there for half an hour, three quarters of an hour. And now they're all in there at once. That's time saving. Yeah. And I think a couple of the bigger ones may well go in there together as well. You know, the overhead is the vast extra amount of water. I mean, that's just taken... I poured the old Vander water in there, um, because that's, that's quite new water, effectively, and it's got feed in it and everything. And it actually had its pH lowered. Well, that's just been messed up, because I've just poured 10 litres of clean water in that bucket. So that's what they're getting today. I don't need to mess with that. I know that will have greatly reduced <coughs> the feed level and taken the pH up above, so it's now in its high swing. You know, it's they're swinging high today, and that's what they'll get today, all of them. I don't even need to check the levels in there. I know what it was, and I know I've just greatly diluted it and raised the pH. That's good enough for today's watering, and I can get on with the other stuff. It's all into reducing time, yeah, and attention time. Um, my Vanders were taking about three hours of my time. Now, I don't have to be here, but I need to be around to take one out and put another one in. You know, if I can cut that time in half, that's time that can be used for something else. You know, perhaps a walk in the countryside, maybe. 
It's all about, uh, what's the expression? Don't work hard, work smart. That's the one. And that's, that's just a little bit of what's happened now. Working smarter. You're going to love this. <laughs> it fits. That's my biggest awkward vander that the roots just wouldn't go in the old bucket. Um, so I had to dunk it in two halves. And, um, you know, that doubles the length of time I have to be around. Well, as I said, instead of um, working hard, work smart. Now, it didn't fit, but it does now. <laughs> How much worse off is that plant going to be, not having that little root tip on one root out of all the other roots that it's got? The answer is no. And there was actually a slight break at that point where it, it's been damaged basically getting in and out the bucket so I've sacrificed that tiny little bit of root and it now fits in in one go and that one I, I don't know different roots seem to work differently with a soak this one takes a long time to get that dark green color and it's got probably got quite a lot to do with the sheer thickness of the roots or some of them the, the newest ones basically um, so it was taking a very long time to hydrate it and give it its soak and I've now halved that time for that one plant. <laughs> so that was good. <laughs> Alright, it doesn't quite fit then, it needs a bit of encouragement, I think I might tread on it. <laughs> but, as I said, don't work hard, work smart. That's the, that's the bit of root I've just cut off and there was a break there. What's it got coming out of it? Branches. It doesn't need that, so I've sacrificed it, and now I need to straighten it up again. Duh. <laughs> uh, back in this video, I said about changing my ending. Um, obviously, that's work, <laughs> and I'm trying to avoid work, so it probably is going to stay as it is for a video or two. But prior to changing the ending, um, I'm not sure if YouTube's going to like this, and... It might even object to such an extent that what I'm saying now becomes cobblers and I'll have to undo it. But I'm going to put a link to a video of a piece of music. All I can say is find somewhere, relax, sit back and listen to the sound. Not the words, not the tune. Not the choir, not the orchestra, not the blind guy singing it, the whole sound. And I'll warn you now, there could be tears. See you next time. Thanks for visiting my channel, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there are some others you could watch below, you can just click on the thumbnails. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel, you can use the link below. I post on most days, so hope to see you again soon. Thanks for stopping by.